So that starts to play the different elements of the story. It's 1711. Aileen McGee, which is a Presbyterian community, a young woman, uh, Mary Dunbar, she blames eight women in the local area and she says that her attacking her in spectral or spirit form uh, becomes demonically possessed and she describes them. They're tracked down, tried on the 31st of March 1711 at Carrick Fergus uh, Assize Court. Get a year imprisonment, which is not good in 1711, and four times in the pillory where they're pelted. It's one of the, the best uh, documented trials. Well, when I basically started looking at Irish witchcraft, you know, nobody had really written a, a book about it. Hopefully this project is taking it another level. You know, they've brought folklore into a tangible form. I wanted to see, well, how do we bring that story to new audiences in that virtual reality space that makes someone feel isolated, feel disconnected, feel persecuted, ultimately. They then become transported to the Witch's Stone, which is an actual stone at the site of Island McGee. We have placed different elements for the user to, to interact with. Then you can levitate in the space, you can spin round, so you experience these magical otherworldly sensations. People that you hear in your ears, where the townsfolk are whispering about you, that's actually the drama students. One of our students from the Creative Musicianship has designed this beautiful bespoke score. This project was a chance to get in the studio and to create something that would become concrete and real with industry leaders. The thing is that virtual reality is superb at something like this because you put the VR headset on and you're completely immersed. You feel like you're back. You feel like you're standing outside in Carrick Fergus touching this rock and lifting the actual items. So your brain fills in the gaps very, very quickly. And that's where VR really does come into its own. <laughs>